Hello and welcome to The Lightest and Best, where we look at the lightest and best offerings of a variety of knife manufacturers, and today we're looking at Zero Tolerance's 0460. It's a beautiful blade. Kai USA is the parent company of both Zero Tolerance and Kershaw. Zero Tolerance knives has historically been producing proudly overbuilt knives. They produce the 0450, here is the 0450, which was a light knife and it was very well received, but it represented a departure for the company. They've been making heavy overbuilt knives and now they went to a well-built but slim EDC friendly knife. The 0460 is a Dmitri Sinkovich design just like the 0450, which is based on the Polychotki Jr. Let's go into the specifications. The blade is 3.25 inches in length. The handle is 4.4 inches in length. The total knife length is 7.5 inches with a weight of only 2.3 ounces. And I have some other knives for comparison. We'll start with the Zero Tolerance 0900, which is a chunkier knife but a little shorter. We've already mentioned the 0450 Zero Tolerance, which is pretty much identical in length. We have the Browse Blades Bionic 2.0, which is a smaller knife. The Spyderco Delica, which is approximately the same length of a knife. And the Chris Reeves Small Sabenza, which is a tad bit smaller. And we'll end up with the Gavco Baby Spinner, which is approximately the same length also. The blade is a S35VN Persian style blade, which means it has an upswept spine. Another common name for this modernly is called the trailing point. It has a high flat ground. There's a satin finish on the blade with a stonewash finish on the flats. As you can tell on the scale side, on the show side, there is the zero tolerance maker's mark and on the lock side, it says the model number 0460, Kai USA, Sinkovich Design, it has the serial number, and then the blade steel number, which has S35VN. The method of deployment of the knife is by flipper. The flipper tab is small, but it's placed well forward of the pivot. I'll close this to show you that. It's small, but it's well forward of the pivot to give it a great detent angle. As you can tell the deployment angle is around 70 degrees and it flips very well. The flipper tab is small, it's only four millimeters. I'll compare this to the flipper tab of the 0450. The 0450 has a five millimeter long flipper tab and it has some jimping on the spine. As you can tell it has a flat area so that you can push button it and then of the teeth of the jimping, there is one, two, three, four of the teeth that are exposed. So if you want to light switch it, you get a very good deployment. I think one of the weaknesses of the 0460 is that it has a smaller flipper tab. It only extends four millimeters above the handle. It has, as you can see on this side, uh, three jimping teeth, one, two, three. However, whenever you notice here, one of the jimping teeth is completely below the handle. The other jimping tooth is level with the handle. There's only one tooth that extends above the handle and it's pretty smooth. It's like a little knob on the top. The other thing where as many knives have a, uh, I'll bring out the 0900. They have a flat part on their flipper on the top so that you can button push it. The 0460 really comes to more of a pointed and so it's pointed enough so that when you push it it hurts a little bit it digs into your flesh a little bit I want to give some examples of some flipper designs that I think are very well made and I'm gonna use the baby spinner of the Gavco there is a flipper that I think is a very well made flipper first of all it extends a full nine millimeters above the handle it has a component that you can light switch it and then it has a component that you press on that you button push. 
And I'm going to look at another flipper here. This is the flipper of the half track. It's a hinder design. And it has the same design. You have a component that you can light switch and you can sweep your finger across. And it has a component that's a, a plateaued area that you can put your finger on and you can button push it. And so I just want to note that this is great in the angle of the flipper. If you go where you start to where you end up, you're pressing just in that direction and that's the design of it. If you look at the flipper tab of the 0900, they could have done better because this is sloping back a little bit. So I think having it so that your fingers fat, flat in the direction of your force is a little bit better than this flipper tab. But I think they certainly could have done better on the 0460 because it just has comes to a point. It isn't plateaued enough. It isn't large enough. Like, for example, the plateau on the 0450 where you can press easily on this one and it can go out fast. The other thing is, is that you have four jimping teeth for your finger to catch on the 0450. And the, on the 0460, you really only have one tooth that you can reach and it sort of digs into your flesh. So the flipper design, I think, is a little bit weak on this. Could have been done better. The handle is beautiful. It's a bronze carbon fiber. Uh, which has 3D machining both on the carbon fiber side and then on the clip side it has 3D machining also. Very beautiful. One of the things I want to point out though is it has the Kai hexagonal pivot which makes uh, undoing your Torx bit on this side very easily because this holds it and keeps it from free spinning and you just need one hand basically to undo the pivot on the other side. This design is used on a variety of other zero tolerance and Kershaw knives. For example, I'll get the zero tolerance 0900. You can see it uses the hexagonal pivot also. And then on the Kershaw oh so sweet, it has the hexagonal pivot also. In contrast, the 04 50 has a round pivot, so it has a round pivot on both sides, so it's free spinning. You have to use two wrenches to undo and disassemble this knife. Uh, this design component with the hexagonal Kai pivot is superior in my opinion. The lock bar, it's a steel lock bar with a lock bar insert and an over travel stop. Very good design. The pocket clip on this knife is a right-handed tip-up only carry pocket clip and the usual pocket clip on a zero tolerance um, has the zero tolerance maker's mark on it. They elected with this one to spell out zero tolerance and it's one of the only zero tolerances I know of that actually has it spelt out and uh, I don't know it's just a designer's choice but the uh, it's a spring clip uh, surface mounted clip right hand tip up only I want to point out that on the 0450, you have holes so that you can wear it on a left hand or a right hand, whereas the 0460, you can only use it as a right hand. There are no uh, holes for carriage on the uh, for left-handers. The ergonomics of the knife are good. It has a Delica-like uh, handle in that it has two fingers to place here, one finger there, and then your fifth, fourth finger goes over here so you can get a good four finger grip. I'll compare this with the Delica. As you can tell, the, the styles are very similar. Instead of having an initial one finger area, it has place for two fingers, and then the third finger goes there, and then the fourth finger on the back edge. And the 0460 is very similar in that it has a place for two fingers and it has a little notch and then your third finger goes there and then your fourth finger can trail behind on that heel of the blade. So it has a very good uh, ergonomics. It should be noticed that there is no jimping on the back spine of the blade. It's just a pure Persian blade that's upswept. Let's talk about the action. The action is very good. The detent's good. It flips out very nicely. 
Now I would like to do a comparison between the O460 and its older brother, the O450. We'll start with a handle shape. As you can tell, the handle shape of the O450 is straight and the O460 has a curved handle shape. The handle milling. The handle milling on the O450 is flat, both on the show side and the clip side. And there is 3D milling on the O460, both on the show side and the clip side. Advantage O460. The pivot is different also. As you can tell, there is a round pivot employing a Torx bit to disassemble it on the show side. However, on the clip side, the O460 has the Chi hexagonal pivot as opposed to a round free spinning pivot on the O450. Again, advantage O460. The blade is on the O450, a drop point blade, and it's a Persian style trailing point blade on the O460. The jimping is different also. On the O450, there is jimping. In the O460, there is no jimping on the blade spine. The flipper tab, I think I've alluded to earlier, on the O450, 50, it's about four millimeters away from the blade, and then a uh, knife scale. And it has about four exposed teeth, whereas the O460 is only four millimeters high and only has one exposed usable tooth. The flipper tab is well ahead of the pivot, pivot it should be noted. The blade. The deployment angle on both knives is approximately 70 degrees. We'll get this deployment angle out on the O460 and then the deployment angle out on the O450. As you can tell, they're approximately equal. The construction of the O450 has a flow-through design with standoffs. The standoffs are really exciting. They're a neon green or a zombie green. They really pop. The construction on the O460 has uh, an aluminum anodized black backspacer, and, uh, and that's it. The weight of the knives are very similar, although the weight of the O450 is 2.4 ounces. The O460 is a little lighter at 2.3 ounces. The length is approximately the same. Whenever you get the blades and compare them pivot to pivot, the blades are pretty much exactly the same. And if you put them end to end, the total length of the blade, because it has this little pointy thing on the end with the O460, the O460 is maybe one millimeter longer than the O450. The pocket clip has a little different in the two blades. As you can tell, they're both surface mounted spring clips. The O450 has the ZT maker's mark and on the O460 it is spelled out. The difference is is that on the O450 you have holes for both re left or right side handed carry and on the O460 you have a right tip up carry only. So what are my overall impressions of the zero tolerance O460? Well I'll just talk about the negative thing and the only thing that I think could use improvement which is the flipper tab. I think it is a little too short, which makes this jimping inaccessible, and there's no plateau space for button pushing it. You have, uh, it kind of hurts you a little bit when you press the flesh of the pad of your finger into it. Actually, they could use the flipper tab design of the O450 in the next version, and I think it would solve all the problems that this knife has. And other knife manufacturers have done that. For example, the Browse 2.0, there were several things with Jason Browse that were unsatisfactory about his, the Browse Bionic, and so in the Browse Bionic 2.0, he fixed all of those things. And I think Zero Tolerance could do that too. A flipper tab is a very small thing to fix. The rest of the knife is just wonderful. And I want to talk about what I like about the knife, though. It has this beautiful copper-colored carbon fiber. It has 3D milling both on the carbon fiber side and the titanium side with texturing. It has the Chi hexagonal pivot, which makes disassembly and reassembly a joy. 
it's a light knife at 2.3 ounces, and that puts it into an elite group. The Sabenza in carbon fiber is a similarly weighted knife. As you can tell, the Zero Tolerance knife is much longer. It's more stylistic. It has the curved handle and the upswept blade as opposed to a straight knife. It has the 3D milling on the handle as opposed to a flat handle. It has some coloration in the carbon fiber as opposed to a flat black knife. So there are lots of viable advantages to the 0460 compared to its peers. And it's a beautiful knife with a unique Persian style upswept blade. I want to think about this knife as marriage and I, I don't want to concentrate on the single thing that I dislike about the knife and ignore all the things that I love about the knife. It's a lot like the 90-10% marriage rule. And that rule is, is that when men find a woman they love, they love her because she's almost everything they want in a woman. She's 90% of everything they want. But after time, they become more focused on the 10% that they don't like rather than the 90% that they do like. Men would be happier if they did two things with their wives. First of all, focus on the 90% part that they love about their wife and compliment them on the things that they like about her. And the second thing we need to do as men is to spend more time focusing on what we can improve about ourselves rather than focusing on what we can improve about our wives. Oh well. My overall counsel on this knife is, if you don't have a Sinkovich design zero tolerance knife, I would recommend the 0450 first just because of the ease of the flipper design. However, if you're looking for something that's beautiful with this bronze carbon fiber and a stylistically unique with the Persian blade and the curved handle, I would go with the 0460. Well, that's the knife review for today. Hope you've enjoyed it. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.